So the British Broadcasting Corporation, or the BBC, here in the UK, have weighed into the French riot situation and predictably chosen the side of the rioters because reasons. And despite migrant rioters literally burning Paris to the ground, the BBC have decided to paint them as the victims. Now there are countless videos online despite uh, Macron's social media ban. And these videos are horrific. They depict French citizens being battered by migrant rioters, as well as the continuation of burning and looting businesses, shops, homes, burning cars, stealing cars. It's all still going on. And the BBC have a history of doing this sort of biased and inaccurate reporting. After all, they sided with the Black Lives Matter rioters, they sided with the Antifa rioters. They're not being entirely honest about Just Stop Oil either. Now, the BBC have done this one-sided report on the French riots using letters sent to them by France-based African journalists, so you know where this is going. And these journalists blame the riots on everyday discrimination, racism and Islamophobia. Now, we all know the catalyst for these riots was the killing of a 17-year-old French migrant by the French police as he was joyriding a car. There is a video of this online. He is stopped by two French, I believe they're motorcycle cops. They do have uh, weapons pointed into the car. The car drives off and he is subsequently shot. Now, the civilised thing to do here, if this was the genuine cause of the whole thing, was to hold a, a huge, massive, peaceful protest outside the government and just refuse to move until something is done or the issue is addressed. I think that's the proper way of doing it. Now, I know I've just said that and people are going to be telling me, well, what if it was your son that was murdered, etc.? Well, I can tell you if that was my son and he was murdered, I would be beside myself with grief. I wouldn't leave the house, and I wouldn't be talking to anyone, unlike his mother, who has allowed herself to be paraded on top of a lorry, all smiles and sunshine, having a great time waving to the crowds. So make of that what you will, folks. And I know people grieve in different ways, but I'm sorry to say, that isn't grieving. But these riots are something else. They're something far more insidious. They are based on hatred, Hatred of the French people, hatred of the French citizenship, hatred of the French state, hatred of French history, and hatred of the famous French phrase, equality, liberty, fraternity. And that is why they are destroying French communities step by step, strategically, and doing away, burning down historical French buildings. This has been happening since before the young 17-year-old uh, got shot by the French police, by the way. This was just an excuse used to ramp it up a bit, in my opinion. Now, one of these African journalists in France, in touch with the BBC, has quoted Martin Luther King as saying that a riot is the language of the unheard. Now, Martin Luther King did say this, but it is often used out of context by people who just want justification when they burn down property and businesses down, when they don't get their own way. So Martin Luther King didn't say that to condone riots back in his day. He said it rather as a warning to the governments that continued ignoring demands will lead to some uh, of the civil rights activists, not all of them, will inevitably take the issue into their own hands. So basically what Martin Luther King was saying, that the government uh, ignoring people's demands will be taken as an excuse by the uh, uncivilised lot to start riots. That is what he was saying. And to be honest with you, I'm not shocked either that the BBC have decided to uh, take a, a report by an African journalist in France about what's going on there, rather than a French journalist in France about what's going on there. It tells you everything, doesn't it? I'm just surprised the BBC haven't blamed the French riots on global warming yet. But there we go, what do I know? And that's that, that's my video. Please let me know what you think in the comments, and until the next time, Roger Trout.